the primary care provider at Trans Health Clinical Skill Development Project. It is a pilot project um, launched by Centertown Community Health Center uh, in response to the need for more uh, skill building opportunities uh, for our primary care partners in the Champlain region. We are the dedicated clinic uh, for trans healthcare for um, the population 17 plus. Um, unfortunately, um, we are not able to keep up with the volume of referrals uh, that are currently coming into our clinic. This is extremely dangerous for this population in particular because of suicidality. The suicidality is actually at its highest for this population once they've uh, identified that this is care that they need, um, but are not yet able to access it in a timely way. The entry point into our healthcare system is, if you have one, through your primary care provider. If they can also be the clinician that can offer that care, that provides the fastest way to achieving goals of care. Unfortunately, curriculum is not preparing providers uh, for providing gender affirming care um, once they start practicing. There's a huge knowledge gap that needs to be addressed uh, in a very, very efficient and timely way. Um, and I think that our pilot project uh, meets exactly those needs. I would say that the pilot project certainly helped us fill in the gaps from A to Z, um, from educating us on how to provide um, an all-inclusive waiting room to using gender neutral and um, gender appropriate language to identifying gender dysphoria in our patients and um, initiating hormonal therapy and surgical consults um, when appropriate. The framework includes didactic training as well as team-wide training. So, the trainings that include everything from administrative training, social work training, or even just kind of what's gender affirming practice, one-on-one -on -one training, um, all of those go uh, to the entire team or subsets of the team as appropriate. But then the clinicians in particular, who were deemed to be the champions of the project, would come to Centre Town and shadow our trans health clinic and then we slowly transitioned to offering the care ourselves under the supervision of the um, CHC family physicians who do this type of work. And the CHC physicians have continued to be accessible in answering our questions and providing us um, with avenues or resources that our patients may need. Um, and so that, that's been a real benefit for us. So much of uh, the materials that we create and so much of our training um, is based on trauma-informed care, um, as well as teaching about the importance of informed consent. Understanding the principles of gender self-determination, knowing how to pro provide trauma-informed care. Uh, those are those are just a few of the pillars of what we call principles of trans-affirming care. And that has to be the foundation from where the medicine grows. Our evaluations um, have demonstrated that we have trained uh, very competent physicians and nurse practitioners for providing this care. Starting July, we're actually gonna implement um, some teaching at our own academic center with our learners and residents. We're gonna rotate through our uh, gender affirming care clinics. We are currently collaboratively designing a trans health resident elective. Um, and we're hoping to launch this course as an elective uh, at our local university in 2024. I also see a, specifically the capacity building project growing um, to partner um, with folks who are in more rural areas, as well as hopefully eventually um, in more Francophone 
uh, communities in Ontario East. With the launch of, um, of our pilot again, um, hearing the enthusiasm from entirely new groups of family health teams for working together and collaborating on creating more access uh, for this type of care is incredibly rewarding. And hopefully we'll grow to the point that will no longer be needed because there will be that capacity with uh, already with trans patients, primary care providers.